Hey guys, it's Chris. From the biggest of crabs to the biggest lizards and beyond, join me as I reveal nine terrifyingly large animals that will scare you. Number nine, coconut crab. Crabs are often pictured as rather small. Even the king crab is only a certain length, but when it comes to the largest of the species in terms of pure bulk and mass, that would be the coconut crab. You probably can't tell based on the pictures, but the coconut crab is three feet long leg to leg. While that may not make it the biggest crab out there in terms of length, that belongs to the Japanese spider crab, it is the largest land living anthropod in the world today. Just as important, other crabs aren't anywhere near as muscular as this crab. Its claws are to be feared, as this crab has the strength of its weight times six. It's been documented that this crab's claw is as powerful as a lion's jaw, which is one of the reasons why the coconut crab has no known predators in regards to basic animals. While the coconut crab do indeed eat coconuts, which is how they got their name, they're not opposed to eating other things as well. They've been observed eating rats and even birds. By that, I don't mean eating scavenged remains of birds. These crabs are powerful enough to climb trees, hunt down the birds, and crush them with their claws so they can feed upon them. They've also been known to eat live pigs. Plus, should the situation be dire enough, they're willing to eat their fellow coconut crabs, or even eat parts of themselves. Number 8. Goliath Beetle there are many people out there who are afraid of bugs, with the bigger the bug getting a bigger reaction. In terms of all bug species in the world, one of the largest of the lot would be the aptly named Goliath beetle, which ranks among the largest via size, bulk, and weight. The plus side for those who don't like to see bugs in any context is that Goliath beetles reside solely in Africa. Specifically, they live in tropical forests on the continent. Their diet primarily consists of the sap from the trees as well as fruit from them. The male goliath beetle can reach up to four inches in length and can weigh up to three and a half ounces. In the larval state at least, they're lighter as adults. The females are slightly smaller and lighter than the males. One of the oddities of the goliath beetle is that in terms of the wild, not much is known about their life cycle in regard to the larvae stage. They are known though to be creatures that value high protein meals. Number seven, giant huntsman spider. There are many ways to measure size, and thus there is a bit of a contest in regard to spiders to see which is the largest among them. The Goliath bird eater from South America, for example, is the largest in terms of weight. But in terms of raw size and leg span, well, that title would go to the giant huntsman spider. Focusing on just the leg span, the giant huntsman spider can reach up to one foot in length from end to end. The spider itself can be found in the country of Laos and is believed to be solely a cave dwelling spider due to things like its pale skin color and how it's got special hairs on its legs that allow it to do certain things. The eyes of the giant huntsman spider seem to indicate that they live near the entrances of caves. This is believed to be because of their size, for if they are within the caves at a deeper level, their eyes would be much smaller. And now for number 6, but first let me know what animal you are most afraid of in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already. Number 6, Capybara. Given their reputation, if you see a large rodent, you'd probably panic. But if it's a capybara, you can hold off that fear for a bit. What's a capybara? It's the largest rodent in the world according to the San Diego Zoo. They're so big they can be up to 170 pounds, which if you think about it is a few pounds more than the average weight of an adult human. Though to be fair, it does depend on gender, and this is the upper edge of the scale. In terms of height, they get up to two feet tall at the shoulder. Not unlike other rodents, the capybara are quite social animals. In fact, they usually like to be in groups of about 10 of their kind, with it being led by one male and the others following its lead. Given the unusual size and shape of the capybara, it's not too much of a surprise that the creature was mislabeled upon first meeting. As when it was found, they honestly thought it was a pig of some kind. One of the biggest ironies of the capybara might just be that it's a viable pet in some parts of the United States, where it lives for the most part. Though you can't just pick it up and own it, some states do require you have a license. Still, they can be good pets, and as the San Diego Zoo proves, they can be trained to do various tasks for their owners. Number 5. Giant Clam if you've ever seen a movie or TV series that features underwater life, you'll likely have seen a giant clam. 
Depending on the film or TV show's intent, it could be shown as a monstrous creature that is well over the size of a human and is always up for devouring them if they get too close. The truth is a bit less aggressive, but they are close to right in terms of size, as the giant clam is the largest bivalve mollusk in the world today, with a diameter of about 4 feet. Just as impressive is its weight, as it can weigh over 500 pounds at times. But all of this comes at a cost, as the giant clam is one of the most endangered clam species in the world today. To the extent that many areas that once had the giant clam are now extinct in regard to their population in them. This is mainly because of hunting by humans. Japan considers this clam a delicacy and overhunts them, as do many other countries. The myths and legends are another reason the giant clam is hunted, as they've been perceived as aggressive and capable of killing humans. This is emphatically false. And the only way for a human to get hurt by one biting it is if the person allows the clam to close its shell around a body part, which is extremely hard because of how slow the clam shell moves when it's closing. Number 4. Liger There are many animals in the world that have been bred to life, meaning that they weren't around before. But because of humans pairing them up, they were created. One of the most abnormally large creatures to come from this kind of breeding is known as the liger. Yes, liger is in lion plus tiger. In this particular case, a male lion mating with a female tiger, though the opposite is also possible. You might think that this kind of fusion is made up, or something from fairy tales, but it's very real. What's more, the ligers are not only big, they're twice as big as their parents. That's right, twice as big. The largest liger in existence right now is named Hercules, which is appropriate given the figure of Hercules in Greek mythology and can be found in Myrtle Beach's Safari Wildlife Preserve in South Carolina. His stats are very impressive. For just in terms of length, he's over 10 feet. In terms of height, he's over 4 feet tall. And he weighs over 900 pounds. I want you to imagine yourself standing next to Hercules and seeing just how massive he is close up. How do you think you'd feel? Despite being in captivity, Hercules has shown he can run over 55 miles per hour and has a running leap of over 40 feet. Hercules also has the world record for the largest cat in the world today. Number 3. Komodo Dragon Most people know lizards are small, sometimes even tiny, which is why they're considered to be very good pets. The outlier of this one species, however, is the one and only Komodo Dragon. Measuring up to 10 feet in length and over 300 pounds in certain cases, the Komodo dragon, without a doubt, is the largest living lizard in the world right now. What's more, they're also the most aggressive lizard of the bunch, being much more predator than prey. How did the Komodo dragon become so large when other lizard species rarely, if ever, grow that big? That would be because of giantism on the islands of Indonesia it was discovered on. Some even believe that their size is due in part to the genes they share with ancient creatures that used to live in that area, and in Australia, such as the Megalania, which is said to be a relative of this creature. Since their discovery, the Komodo dragons have been an item of fascination for many people, including getting a few of them in zoos in Europe and other parts of the world, though this is rare. What's more, some people see these as real dragons based on their size and appearance. Number 2. Carbon Emis If you were to think about turtles and tortoises that lived in the modern world, you would likely not think about how they evolved or de-evolved over the many eons of life on Earth. But one look at the Carbon Emis, and that might change for you. These ancient turtles were from the late Paleocene period of history, and were said to reside in places like Colombia. One of the things that separated these from other turtles and tortoises today was their size and girth. Mainly, they were believed to be over 10 feet long and weighed over 1,000 pounds. Here's another thing that separates this turtle from others. Based on fossil findings, it's believed that the Carbonemis weren't herbivores, but carnivores. This was due to the fact that it had very powerful jaws that could likely chew through just about everything that was in the swamps where it lived. Some even speculate that this beast could have been an ambush predator, which isn't a thing you would associate with turtles. Further adding to its uniqueness, Carbonemis were believed to have spiked shells, thus giving them extra protection from foes. However, since they are now extinct, you won't have to worry about seeing them around or being expedited out of certain areas, though that would be quite a sight. Number 1. Lion's Mane Jellyfish Jellyfish are one of the terrors of the ocean that people often forget about because they think about sharks, octopuses, and more. 
Jellyfish can hurt you, and sometimes they can even kill. But oftentimes you don't have to worry about them unless you are really close to them. Except when it comes to the lion's mane jellyfish. That's not an option. The lion's mane jellyfish is one of the longest creatures on the face of this earth, and is the largest jellyfish on earth. Just the body, called the bell, is known to be seven feet long. But that's just one part of it. The other part, the part that makes it abnormally large, is the tentacles. Each lion's mane jellyfish can technically have up to a thousand tentacles on it, and sometimes it can have even more. They're tied up in clusters, eight of them, with 150 tentacles per. As for how long they go, these things can reach 190 feet in length. So in a way, you need to look out for not just the body, but which direction it's going, so the tentacles don't reach out and touch you. Thankfully for all involved, the lion's mane jellyfish is not a venomous jellyfish, but its sting will hurt you. So if you're in the waters where it resides, like the North Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic Oceans, you'll need to be careful. Very, very careful. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these large creatures? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time.